trusting God in difficult times. My friend, we know that it can get very difficult, especially as Christians. Sometimes some things happen in our lives and we don't even comprehend. We don't understand how it happened. But we know, praise God, that there is a God. And if we can put our trust in him and not in the situation at the time, then we can praise over God to God. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Praise God. So we have to trust him even though we don't understand what is happening. And we can't lean to our own understanding. We have to put our trust in him completely so that he can get the glory out of our lives. Even though it's difficult and, and some things are happening that we really cannot comprehend, we still have to trust God. Trusting him in difficult times is what is going to prove your faith and prove my faith in him. Psalm 37 verses 4 to 6, praise God, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him and he will act. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Praise God. So we have to trust him no matter what the situation is because we know that if we trust him, he will bring forth our righteousness as the light. Praise God. And he will make our path straight. He will step in. He will take control of the situation. He will fix what needs to be fixed. He will open doors of opportunity. But we have to be able to trust him even though we are going through difficult time and difficult situations we cannot throw in the towel we cannot give up we cannot quit we have to keep on trusting God in the midst of difficulties because that is when our faith is proven and our hope and confidence in God is really bring to the test it, it is it is that time that we are going to show ourselves sincere and genuine and and well able praise God you know equipped with the work of the Lord that is when we're going to prove that we are genuine you know men and women of God Jeremiah 29 verse 11 for I know the plans I have have for you declares the Lord plans for welfare and not for evil praise God to give you a future and a hope glory to God so if God has some good plans for us why should some little temporary situation get us down or bring us to a place of discomfort and and lack of faith and and lack of trust in him my God we should remember that there are some benefits in store for us and the plans that God has for you and has for me are good plans praise God he said plans to prosper us and to give us a hope and a future so we have to rest on the word of God one of the things we have to do too when we are going through difficult times is to feast upon the word some more that we can be strengthened in the spiritual man and so that we can be equipped praise God to live out our Christian journey faithfully praise God committed to the task and not looking back praise God because if we look back while we are going through our difficult is then the devil will get the victory and we don't want to give satan any victory we want to bring glory to god and we want to make jesus the first place in our lives he must be priority at all times so let us remember that there are some good things in store for us praise god the plans that i have for you are to prosper you to give you a future and to give you hope in jesus name praise god St. Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 Therefore I tell you do not be anxious about your life what you will eat or what you will drink or about your body what you will put on is not life more than food and the body more than clothing My God the body praise God is more than the food and more than the worries and more than the, the difficulties that you are facing 
saying praise god the fact that you have life hallelujah to god is enough to be grateful and not to let the stress and the worries and the disappointments and the anger my god and and the resentment not to let these things get us down because we know that praise god there is life eternal in the end praise god this is not our final home we are pilgrims passing through so we have to remember that this body this life that we have is such a precious thing and so much more precious than the worries and the difficulties that we face every one of us have to face difficulties and go through temptations and testings and trials and all kind of things praise God because no temptation that you face or I face is, is strange to mankind all of them the Bible said is common unto every man every man goes through similar things praise God but it is how we endure them and how we go through them that is the thing that is important how are you enduring your difficulties are you still trusting God while you're in the difficult situation when you're going through difficult situation my friend always remember that the fact that you have life is greater than even the very situation that you are faced with so get down on your knees and give god thanks uh, and give him praise for the fact that you have life and can face this difficulty in the name of jesus praise god joshua 1 and verse 9 have i not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the lord you are God is with you wherever you go. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We know, my friend, that God is with us wherever we may go. Praise God. So it doesn't matter what difficulties we are faced with, we can trust God because we know that God will never leave us nor forsake us. He is with us wherever we go. He said we must be strong and courageous. That means that we cannot be be timid and get nervous and get frightened because of what is happening around us we have to be strong and remain flat-footed plant, plant our feet on christ the solid rock that means no matter what storm may rock our ship we are rooted in christ and we are grounded in christ and we are strong and courageous because we know that christ is with us wherever we go praise god let us put our trust in him in spite of our difficult situations praise god let us trust god because if we can trust him while we are going through difficulties then god will prove us to be men and women of valor Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. When Jesus does not change, he remains the same. He's the same faithful God, the same loving God, the same caring God, the same God. He remains the same yesterday and today and forever. He changed not. So the fact that he does not change, it simply means that even though the difficult times are here and we are going through some struggles going through some pain going through some stress we still can pray to the mighty god of heaven that he will step in and take control we still can trust him to do what he does best to deliver to set free praise god to break every chain of bondage and every yoke from off of our lives we still can put our hope and our trust and our confidence in him because he change it not my friend i hope these words encourage you to continue to trust god even though you are faced with difficulties rebuke the very appearance of evil and let god be praised and every man a liar praise god let god be true my friend and every man a liar be blessed